As with companies and industries of all stripes, the Canadian theatre industry has had to take a hard look at systemic racism in the field and its impact on people of colour both on and off the stage. I spoke to both an established actor as well as an actor-producer still trying to find his footing after a decade in the country about their experiences in the industry. Racism and theatre go hand in hand for me. Qasim Khan currently works with the Stratford Festival and is a theatre, film and TV actor raised in Newmarket. My experience of theatre was immediately connected to racism as far back as my first year of theatre school. And it's so it's a, a thing I accepted as a, a normal occurrence and part of what I'm going to have to negotiate if I want to have a career in theatre, which I do. Qasim says overt acts of racism are somewhat easier to deal with, things that can be pointed out as harmful. I had a final callback for a production that was going to go on tour to the U.S. and this is shortly after 9-11. Um, a director, the very last thing he said to me before I left the room was, um, Qasim, is there any reason why you wouldn't be allowed to board a flight to the United States or is there any problem with your passport? He says it's the systemic racism that prioritizes white voices and white audiences, which is simply considered normal, that is more difficult to call out, and it needs to be dismantled before progress can be made. In the 10 years that I've been in Canada, for all the open auditions I've applied for, I've been called for one. Namaste. Hello, Uncle. Himanshu Sitlani is a theatre professional from Mumbai, India, with extensive experience behind the scenes and on stage. He moved to Toronto in 2010 and says the lack of opportunity for people of colour came as a surprise in a country that prides itself on its multiculturalism. At some point, I thought it was probably a, a mistake with my resume or something. Uh, and I started to follow them back and find out what were they actually looking for. Uh, and over 95% of them turned out to be an all-white cast. Himanshu says smaller companies are producing diverse work, but it's the mainstream names with big budgets that need to get on board to make non-white theatre more available and more profitable. Meanwhile, he and his wife have launched their own theatre company, Notanki Bazaar, to create their own opportunities and focus on South Asian stories. Somebody should step up uh, and... Maybe it's us. I mean, we, we may fall flat, but at least we have to give it a shot. If we keep waiting, we'll probably be waiting for another 10 years till the next opportunity comes. And while the wait for change is long, some leaders in the community have begun the process. The Stratford Festival released a public statement in June pledging their support for black and indigenous lives, and Qasim is a part of their newly formed anti-racism advisory committee as well. They acknowledged that the Stratford Festival in the past has upheld a system of white supremacy that they are actively now looking to dismantle. Stratford followed up its statement by giving over its social media pages to artists who are black, indigenous and people of colour for a week each and holding what Qasim calls eye-opening panel discussions about how they navigate working in a predominantly white institution. The hope is that other big theatre houses will follow suit. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.